the next three to four years, I decided to go to the University of Miami. Let's go! Oh my God! Oh boy! Let's go! What's going on, Canes fans? What a crazy day today has been, and it's not even over yet. I just posted a video about all of the craziness going down with five-star wide receiver Jeremiah Smith. We don't exactly know how that's going to play out just yet. And Miami also just flipped five-star defensive end Armando Blunt from Florida State. So it's been a pretty good day for the Canes with recruiting. And it typically is when Mario Cristobal is your head coach. Now, what I'm going to do is provide one last little final update here on the first day for the early signing day. And then we're going to go live a little bit later tonight. So depending on when you're watching this, I'm either going to be going live here in about an hour or two, or you missed it. Hopefully you didn't, but we're going to be live today, Wednesday, December 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern time, doing a full recap to all of the recruiting shenanigans. But yeah, Miami did flip five-star defensive end Armando Blunt. He made the announcement a few minutes ago. I probably plugged in my raw reaction at the beginning of this thing. Six foot, three and a half, 250 pounder out of Miami, Florida from Miami Central High School. So this is a huge pickup for the Canes and adds another five-star to the 2024 recruiting class. Now, I did want to show the recruiting rankings but i don't think that 24 7 sports has it updated yet they just did let's go they just updated it and miami is sitting pretty at number three above ohio state above florida state and the florida gators continue to fall further and further down the list so miami with a chance here to finish strong with a top three recruiting class in 2024 and I, I don't say this to be negative but after going seven and five we go five and seven then we go seven and five and last year after going five and seven we still signed the number seven recruiting class in 2023 so miami making leaps and bounds big improvement already a top 10 class last year and then if we end in the top three that's massive it it words cannot describe how big that is if we actually finish in the top three and there's still the possibility of some other things happening again we you know we hinted at the jeremiah smith stuff i wouldn't buy too much into that because we don't know what's going to happen with it but this is really really good to see we did also flip a darius hayes the top linebacker prospect for miami the four star from the florida gators Big time get. I like this guy a lot. Again, this was Miami's number one target at linebacker, and we flipped him from Florida. I will always take that. Love, love it. Big time playmaker right there. Huge get for us. And then Kevin Riley, the running back, did end up flipping and going to Alabama, and that was expected. Again, we picked up Jordan Lyle. We figured this was going to happen. Riley being from Alabama. Riley visited Alabama late, so, you know, that just made the most sense. So it wasn't really a big deal. We want to keep as many guys as we can, but with everything that's happened, Miami sitting in the top three, there are zero complaints from me right now. I love the guys that we've got in there. Let's actually show everybody. That's, that's what we should have done. We should have pulled it up. Two five-stars, 11 four-stars, and 14 three-stars. I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. That looks, bro, getting Armando Blunt added on there. Love to see it. Zaquan Patterson, man, Nikar is probably one of my favorite recruits. I'm going to be honest. I just, I like Nikar. Uh, I like uh, his ability to create separation. I like his speed. He likes to run his mouth a bit, which I like. He's very vocal. I've seen him make a ton of one-handed catches. I like this guy a lot, a whole lot. Chance Robinson, like, I love this class, bro. Like, I know it's easy to say that. Well, Coop, of course you're going to love it. These guys are Miami Hurricanes. 
Yeah, yeah, every Miami fan's gonna say that. Like, I just feel real good about this class right here. Like, just some dogs, some playmakers, some guys that really seem like they want to grind. Derek Plaz, man, super vocal. Love that dude. Judd Ambassador for Miami. Like, I love it, man. And we gotta talk, we're gonna talk about Abram Murray tonight on the stream. The kicker. I'm going to play the clip of what Mario Cristobal had to say about this guy. And the coaching staff is very excited about having Abram Murray on the squad. But love, 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 love this class, man. I can't say it enough. I'm very hyped and excited about it. It's tough for me to get hype until guys put pen to paper. That's why up until this point, you don't see Coop freaking out. I don't know why I'm talking about myself in third person. My thoughts are all over the place. You don't see me freaking out too much. I'll poke some fun when we flip guys and things like that. But it's tough for me to celebrate until pen is put to paper. And in some cases, until pen is put to paper, and then paper is put into fax machine. Some of you will get it. Some of you have been following the events that have played out so far today up to this point. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very hyped and excited. We'll talk about it more in depth tonight on the stream. So don't miss it. 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live right here on this channel. We'll do a full blown recap. We might even take phone calls. I can get some reactions from you guys. We can talk about some of the misses, some guys that we didn't get. We'll talk about the flips and uh, we'll just look at this thing as a whole. Man, just exciting day. It, very exciting day. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.